Welcome to Electrified, it's your host, Dylan Loomis. Just today, Tesla released a new 8K, and they actually released two, but one of them is just their official release for their Q4 delivery numbers. And you've all heard about those numbers by now, so incredible job to Elon predicting this with incredible accuracy six years ago to within 500 cars. Just another item to argue that this dude is not from our planet. But the 8K we're examining today is with regard to an updated contract between Tesla and Panasonic. There's all kinds of misleading information out there already, so let's start at the source and go through this together. On December 29th, 2020, Tesla and Tesla Motors Netherlands and Panasonic Corporation of North America, together Panasonic, entered into a 2021 pricing agreement for Japan sales, effective as of October 1st, 2020 through March 31st, 2022, relating to the supply by Panasonic of lithium ion battery cells made by Panasonic in Japan. The agreement is subject to the supply agreement between Tesla and Panasonic and or their respective affiliates dated October 5th, 2011 as amended and sets forth, among other things, specific terms with respect to pricing, production capacity commitments, purchase volume commitments, and planned investments over the term of the agreement. So first, the new deal is short-term in nature, effective October 1st, 2020 to March 31st, 2022, so 18 months in total. Next up, the sales covered in this pricing agreement are for sales made by Panasonic Panasonic in Japan, so this has nothing to do with Panasonic's operations at Fremont. And the last and perhaps most telling part of this release is where it says the agreement is subject to the supply agreement between Tesla and Pana dated October 5th, 2011. And just to be clear, this is of course not the actual contract, this is just the bare bones that Tesla has to report to satisfy SEC regulations. So now the speculation begins. To start, the cells that Pana has made for Tesla in Japan have been for the Model S and Model X. All of the news we've heard over the past few weeks about new Panasonic cells mimicking the 4680 design and with improved energy density, that was reportedly with regard to Panasonic at Giga Nevada. Panasonic at Giga Nevada has been making 2170 cells to date, while the Pana cells from Japan have been 1865. That said, one of the reports on the new 4680 cells that Panasonic would make for Tesla did indeed say that the production of the prototype cells would start next year, aka 2021, and could lead to a new supply agreement with Tesla. Sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? The timing also lines up pretty well. So yes, there is a chance this is an updated pricing agreement where they're bringing new cell production lines of 4680s into the agreement that Panasonic will be producing in Japan for Tesla. Remember this, Tesla has been working on the Cato Road pilot plant for years now. It's not something they just started last year. They're always well ahead of the curve, so you can believe that Tesla would bring their partners into the loop around the same time they first realized they had cracked the code for a 4680 cell design. This is one massive race for cell production, and Tesla would be making a mistake keeping the technology to themselves for years instead of bringing partners on board to help scale the production. So yes, this could be new batteries for the Model S and X program as it would be perfect timing with an expected Model S and X refresh. The short nature of the contract would make sense too in that the terms being covered are more exploratory in nature than simply re-upping business as usual. With so much uncertainty in the realm of new battery lines, new chemistries, new form factors, a shorter term contract in nature would make the most sense for that endeavor. And it would also lend credibility to the possibility of Pana Japan making 4680s for the Model S and X. But of course, there are two sides to every coin and this part is just speculation as it is entirely possible the Model S and X will continue to be made with 1865 cells and this updated agreement has nothing to do with the 4680s. But then we do have this report from the Nikkei Asia over just a week ago titled Panasonic to build prototypes of new Tesla batteries in 2021. Verbatim quote from the article. Panasonic will begin production as early as next year of prototypes of a new, cheaper type of battery for Tesla EVs. The cylindrical cell, plans for which were announced in September by Elon, were developed in-house by Panasonic at Tesla's request. It is larger than the automaker's current batteries, talks about the 4680 size, and also uses different materials. The new design costs less than half as much per kilowatt hour, according to Tesla. But here we go. Panasonic will set up a prototype production line at existing facilities. 
The cost of the project is expected to run into tens of millions of dollars, though Tesla plans to make the new cell itself. Of course, it goes on to say that others are gonna make it too to help scale quickly. Ending with Panasonic will seek a future partnership to take on some of the manufacturing. So yes, this does not clearly state that this is for Panasonic Japan, but it does indeed say, quote, existing facilities. So yes, it is possible. And just a reminder, the Fremont factory lines for the Model S and X are set to resume operations on January 11th. And the other side of the coin here, this new agreement could be for the 1865 cells for just long enough so that in March 2022, Tesla can fully switch over to 4680 cells for the Model S and X. This makes a lot of sense as well, it's just not as exciting. We also learned that the Plaid Model S may be coming sooner than we think, so the truth of the answer may lie somewhere in the middle, where Panasonic Japan is indeed working on 4680s, but the Model S and Model X will continue with the 1865s for now, and things will then change later in March of 2022. But what do you guys think? I would honestly love to hear your thoughts on this as no one knows for sure, but the community I'm sure will get us very close to the truth. So take a moment and let me know what you think below. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Please take a moment to like the video if you did and consider subscribing for more Tesla content. Quick reminder, my Bitcoin channel is live and linked below if you're interested. But with that, I hope that you have a great day.